What's up everybody? Welcome back. Hope everybody's having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. We got to have a conversation about Tua Tagovailoa and what his what he should do with his career because plays the Thursday night game last night against the Bills. Uh pre-injury wasn't looking all that good, but then he takes a nasty concussion on a on a play that was really more generated off of him generating the contact than DeMar Hamlin. And it just, it didn't look that bad when you see the hit, but then it's like you see him stiffen up and it's like, damn, like it happened again. This is his fourth concussion in two years. And I think honestly, at this point, there's a great argument that it's, it's retirement should be, should be considered, should be very thought out because you're, you're a human before you are a football player. And the dude had a great year last year, led the league in passing yards, and put on a show. But at what point is enough enough? We need to have a conversation about Tua Tagovailoa, his health, his career. What do we think is going to happen with him? Because there's a lot of different things that can come out of this. And I want to know in the comments, do you think Tua Tagovailoa should retire? What do you think he should do? Should the team step in? I don't think they will. And where, what do you want to see? One, I think, I think the easy answer is I want to see him kill it and come back injury-free and never have to worry about this. But what are the odds that happens? Because your QBs, you're getting dragged down by your ankles. You're getting slammed. And like it could, it could just get really bad at a certain point. And I just I don't want to see that happen. So we're going to talk about it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this kind of content, please like the video. But what does Tua need to do to protect himself if he comes back and doesn't retire? I don't know what the answer is. Maybe sliding in that situation, but I'm not going to get mad at a football player for trying to make a an aggressive play and to to will his team into the inside the 10 yard line and trying to make a a, a drive last. I'm never going to get mad at somebody for that. But at a certain point, a player like Tua, given the history, has to protect himself. And that, that that play was one where he could have slid. He could have protected himself. That that could have been the idea there. Am I mad or or upset at him for not doing that? No, not at all. I don't want that to get misconstrued. But there's going to be a lot more plays where he's not able to protect himself, and the risk of another con of a fifth concussion in two years, to me, that's very steep. I don't think he'll be back in the next game or two. I think it's one of those things where the team needs to, like, they need to set him aside. And he needs to think about a decision for his long-term livelihood. Because football is a very, very nasty, dangerous game. And five concussions, potentially, in two years for any player is devastating. The things that can do to your brain long-term, your brain is not meant to, to deal with that. So, I... I don't know what the solution is or if there is one. I do think Tua should definitely consider, you know, what is life without football and what what avenues he might want to go down because, you know, it could, it could get taken away like that. And that's not not optimal. It's not, not something I would wish on any football player. And I just think that he needs to take a long, long time break and just look at things from the outside in uh, because I who knows what could happen to him out there and this is one of those guys that like personality wise he seems really freaking likable he seems like one of the more down to earth down to earth you know star QBs in the league and I think injuries all the way up until now have really just just been brutal for him and to me it's I think Mike McDaniel might have said it it's you're you're a QB of your family before you're a QB of the Dolphins. You know, you're quarterback of your family before you're quarterback of the Dolphins. And I think that that hits home because that's that's essentially somebody in a position of power on your team telling you like, "Hey, you may really want to think about you know, this is your livelihood and you this is what you're doing is going to be for your family. Maybe you need to think be a little more selfish and think about that." Rather than like, how can I be the best QB for the Dolphins? Because if something bad were to happen, who knows if you'll be able to to be the QB of your family? Because it's a sick, nasty game that 
can ruin ruin people. I mean, we there's been numerous cases of players with head trauma and concussions where their lives have completely flipped upside down. They've you know gone to the extremes. I'm not going to go into those extremes because I just don't think it's really appropriate. But for someone as as likable as Tua. And for the amount of, of concussions he's had in such a short amount of time, I think it just makes me worry about it. And I don't, I don't want to worry about any football player, but he's one of those guys now where, the, for what we've seen, we've seen him be wobbly and fall to the ground after getting a concussion. We've seen him get stretchered off. We saw him go stiff yesterday. Th- that's not... That's not like a, oh, I got my ankle rolled up on, like, let me just elevate it and I'll be back next week. These are long-term brain injuries that someone is suffering. That's not nowhere near the same as a a bad back or uh, having bad knees. This is way deeper than football. And I think he absolutely needs to consider retirement. And I will tell you, I do not think he will retire. I think that... these dudes in the NFL have gotten to the NFL and gotten to the level that they're at by being irrationally confident. And I think Tua has an irrational confidence to him where he's going to say, I could still do this. I will be just fine. I'm going to make it happen. But at what point is enough enough? And I don't, I don't want to see it get to that point, which is why I think he's definitely considerate. It's, of course, his choice to make if he's going to retire. But if he did... I, I think most rational people would say, you know what, it makes sense. Like, why put yourself through that and risk everything that you've built? And why, why do that? I just don't think that's a good idea. Um, but if he does come back, you know, I'll be supportive of him. And, you know, I've just, I just don't want to see something bad happen. And we've seen things like this happen in football fields. So I just don't know what to wish really should do because it's not my call for one but it's also like like it because he's he's really good and you never want to see somebody that has really good talent walk away early but i feel like for his case it would it makes a lot of sense if he were to do so but let me know in the comments what do you think to it tagovailoa should do do you think he should retire do you think he should come back and try to play what do you think will happen one and then what do you think well what do you want to happen because put it this way i would love to see him come back and play great but i think the smarter choice would be retirement right i i don't know there if you disagree in the comments let me know as well i think it's very i don't want to say fascinating because it's an injury thing but uh it's intriguing to say the least uh and i just i don't know what to attack is gonna do uh what he should do is probably walk away but will he do that i doubt it and that's just i think that's that's just my prediction towards it i'll ultimately i just hope he comes back healthy and if he does stay in the nfl and does stay playing qb that he doesn't get hit with an ass another concussion or maybe give us a few years before another one or something but the quantity that he's had in the amount of time four and two years is not something to play with uh, and you know he's playing in a physical game so it's just a, it's a little bit of a sad situation, but you know, I, don't, I, I think it's far from finished. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe if you like this kind of content. Please like the video. I think it's you know one thing to uh, uh, watch to a play and enjoy his game, but I think it's also another to understand that he is a person as well at the end of the day, and life comes before football. And if he were to make a decision of choosing life over football, I would be completely understanding of that. So, but thanks for watching. I'm done. Peace.